next guest is heading to Washington, D.C. here in just a couple of days as the only Arizona delegate at a national conference on education. Kimberly Cabrell is the founder and publisher of Mask Magazine, which focuses on the challenges of raising school-age kids. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back. We've had you on before. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, you say, and, and part of what will happen in this brainstorming session, um, will be ways to improve our schools. And you talk about the importance of that parent teacher relationship. Absolutely. Parents and, um, you know, somewhere along the way in elementary school, there's so much parent involvement. And as the kids get older in middle school and high school, it really kind of tapers off. And in reality, it needs to actually go the other way so kids can, you know, achieve and, um, you know, continue to grow and do well. Why does Arizona get such a bad rap nationally when it comes to education? Ay, ay, ay. I, I know, mean, I know I, it's a loaded question, but it, it is a loaded. it's tough to see us near the bottom of the list every year. I know, and you know there are great things that you know our um, state are trying to do sure. to you know improve education. And really, my role going to Moms Congress is to bring a step into it. Um, you know, bring in the social awareness that needs to take place in schools, so kids can feel safe and secure, um, and you know continue to learn and achieve to be the best that they can be. And that's where you say is the, our biggest area for room for improvement. Absolutely, and you know there are great things. There's roundtables taking place um, that I'm lucky to be a part of um, with the Department of Education to try to really address topics of bullying in schools. And they are, there are steps, you know, being already taken place to try to improve that. Let's talk about this new report. I mean, these numbers in enrollment at charter schools really in some cases are, are astronomical. We're seeing a lot of these charter schools get a lot more kids. Why do you think that is? And, and, also, and also online school. Yeah. Uh, online school is you know a lot of kids are going that way and I think it goes back to them feeling safer and secure in, a, in an environment and I think the numbers are speaking that that kids don't feel safe um, in you know in their schools why I think because of all the issues that masks address, you know, uh, the bullying, the drug trends, the peer pressure, the self-esteem, um, all of that stuff, kids just don't feel safe. And we need to create an environment where they know things are, you know, in place to help them, that they know that they have a voice um, to say that I don't feel safe, please help me. And they know that there'll be protocols to, you know, make sure that they do um, feel safe. Well, what's, what can be so scary for these kids, and this is... Uh talking to my nine-year-old nieces, a lot of times they feel like if they, they go to an authority, they go to a teacher, and if they say something, then they're going to be called a tattletale, which right. could make things worse. Absolutely. And what we try to encourage in schools is, you know, either to, um, you know, utilize technology and give kids an opportunity to share their feelings um, or, you know, things that they have seen um, going on in school, or to create a suggestion box um, that kids can have an outlet to share what they see um, so they feel that they can be a part of the solution. A lot of it is just getting parents to trigger that conversation. Kim Absolutely. Cabral, thank you very much. Good luck. Thank you so much. You'll be much. there this weekend, and we appreciate your time this morning. Thank you for having me. If you would like more information on Mask Magazine, we have that. It's up on our website. That's azfamily.com.